The starting point for our customers to transform or automate their processes is the SAP Signavio Business Process Transformation Suite. Here, they are able to analyze, manage and govern their processes end-to-end. -end. The cycle describes a typical transformation flow. The Discover phase is all about identifying process improvements potential. In the Prepare phase, the right controls are set up to safeguard the transformation. In the Explore phase, future processes are defined. I move on to the Realize phase, in which the changes are implemented. During the Deploy phase, our end users get educated and enabled. Finally, in the Run phase, the system is monitored and continuously improved. In the following example, I would like to improve a procurement process. I start by looking into the Discover phase with SAP Signavio Process Insights. Out of the box, SAP Signavio Process Insights allows analyzing all processes of an ECC or SAP S4HANA system within 24 hours. In the example shown here, I analyze the purchase order item creation to invoice receipt creation process specifically. I can see how the process flows through the system. Out of the box, I can detect potential root causes of why the process is not performing as well as it could be. Let's delve a little bit deeper by looking at the globally defined performance indicators. There are several types of performance indicators available. For this example, I will look at the automation rate. I can see immediately that the automation rate for purchase requisition items created is at only 14%. I can access the external benchmark data from industry peers by clicking on the item. I see at a glance that the performance is in the lower quartile. There is still a lot of room for improvement here, and I will show you how. Let's take a look into the innovation recommendations tailored to the results of my analysis. I can see that there is an RPA bot available that automates the creation of purchase requisitions from an Excel file. I now know what I want to improve and how I want to implement it. Of course, I must also keep track of the changes to ensure proper process management and governance. For that reason, I model my future processes based on best practices and the recommendations I have seen earlier. In this simple view, I can compare the old and the new process. On the left, I see the old process with a manual creation of a purchase requisition step. On the right, I can see what my future process will look like. It contains the RPA bot that automates the step of creating a purchase requisition. I will continue to extend and automate now with my tool of choice, SAP Process Automation. As a citizen developer, I can see all the projects I have created or were shared with me in the lobby. I see the deployed versions and I can share my project with others, rename it or transport it. I have also access to pre-built content from SAP. I see process packages across different lines of businesses. I also have access to automation templates, which let me automate data extraction from spreadsheets or PDF, for example. In my purchase requisition project, I can create various artifacts that I need for my workflow, process, decisions, forms, approvals, and automations. The Process Builder is an intuitive drag-and-drop tool for defining the control flow. In this case, the process is triggered by a form that defines the process content and the data flow through the process. I can navigate directly to the Forms Builder, which is a what-you-see-is-what-you-get tool to define the process UI. I can drag-and-drop UI elements and configure them to my needs. In the process, a condition is defined when approvals need to be done. In my case, it is a two-step approval for anything beyond 300 euros in the product category hardware. I can add multiple condition groups and extend their logic. I can also access a natural language summary of my condition, which is helpful for more complex conditions. The next step in the flow is a decision that determines the approver. Notice that I will take care of the price a bit later in this workflow. In the business rule output, I see that there are managers and IT services as approvers. In the manager approval step, I can configure the priority and the due date of such a task. I can also assign one or more approvers or user groups. After the IT services approval step, I use an action to create a purchase requisition in SAP S4HANA. All I have to do 
select the destination and map the relevant data that the backend expects. The output of this action is the purchase requisition ID. I can leverage this information to configure an email notification to the requester, including the purchase requisition ID from the backend. Let's improve the process further by leveraging a bot automation that extracts data from quotations as PDFs or XLSs. I simply add the automation as a step, use the product category as a correlation ID and the bot will return the price for the device. Now, all I have to do is map the outcome of the automation into the business rule. I then exchange the expected price from the requester form with the data coming from the bot. As a business user, I can now create my departmental requests from my launchpad. This is the start form with all its elements. As an approver, I see all my tasks in my inbox. As an IT services employee, I see the log of what has happened so far and approve or reject with comments. Out of the box, every process comes with a visibility dashboard. As a process operator, I can see all instances of my workflows and check the status of critical delays here. I see the milestones that have been reached and the path that the process has taken so far. This concludes my end-to-end -end demo. Thanks for watching.